Hi there, it's Anna here. Welcome to Little Crochet Farm. In this video, I will show you how to make this little jellyfish. This is the first of a couple of sea creatures patterns that are coming next on this YouTube channel. The complete and detailed written pattern is in the description below this video that will take you to my blog post where I share you all the information that you may need for this pattern. But for now, I tell you that I used a 2mm crochet hook and a cotton yarn suitable for this hook size. If you have any questions or want to request a pattern, leave them in the comment box below. Now, let's move on to the pattern. Alright, so here I start with the magic ring. There is a complete tutorial showing you how I make my magic ring, but you can see it from this video also. And you will make for the first round six single crochet inside the magic ring. Alright, this is super good. Now you pull the tail tight to close the magic ring. And for the second round, you will work with increases. So you will make six increases. This means that you will crochet two single crochet inside of each stitch of this round. At the end, you should have a total of 12 stitches. If you are a complete amigurumi beginner, there is links in the description of this video with tutorials of all the stitches and techniques I use to complete this pattern. All right, so now here I will secure my beginning of the yarn this is how i always start my crochet toys just to make sure that this circle is completely tight and it will not unravel all right this is great now let's move on for the third round for the third round, we will again increase six stitches. This is how we will be uh, crocheting this toy. So here you will make one single crochet and one increase. So here the first, you make one single crochet and on the next stitch, you make one increase. That means two single crochet inside the same stitch. You repeat this all the way around until the end and I will catch you up here. All right, this is how it should be looking. And we'll move on for the fourth round. Right, so here you will make two single crochets and one increase, which means here one single crochet, another single crochet on the next stitch, and here you will make one increase, which means two single crochets inside the same stitch. So you'll repeat this six times, which is all the way around, and I will catch you up here. Great, so this is the end of the fourth round. Now we'll move on for the fifth. I'm using here a piece of yarn to mark the ending of my rounds. So here for round number five, you will crochet three single crochet. One, two, and three and one increase. Again, you will repeat this all the way around, so you'll make six repetitions here of this three single crochet, and I will catch you up here. Good. So again, one more round with increases. So here for round number six, you will crochet four single crochet, one increase, you will repeat six times, and you should have a total of 36 stitches at the end of this round. I always suggest, to, suggest you to count how many stitches you have at the end of each round, 
just to make sure that you are on track. And if you, you have some stake, you will know before you need to unravel a lot. So here, my single crochet is an increase. So great, this is how you should be looking like. You will stop here and you leave this on the side. This is the bottom of our jellyfish. Now we will start crocheting the tentacles. So here you will chain 41. I chose three colors to work this jellyfish, so you can work with three colors that you wish. Great, so here I have my, all of my chains. I will skip the first one and make two single crochet inside of each chain. So you'll go all the 40 chains, making two single crochet inside of each chain. This will make the curls of these tentacles. All right, so this is the procedure. You will repeat this all the way ar around. You can pause the video here and catch me up once you're done. You'll see here it's starting to curl already. Look. So this is what we're going to have all the way until the end. All right, so your tentacles should be looking like this. You leave just a small tail here. So you can attach on your bottom later on the bottom of the jellyfish and you will make three more of this so you should have a total of four of these tentacles all right great now let's move on to the second type here again i start with the slip knot and you chain 25 Super good, I go fast here, 25, great. Now you will skip the first chain and you will start making a slip stitch inside of each chain. So inside of each chain you will make one slip stitch, all right? And that's it. This is what we are searching for. Once you finish all the 24 chains you have, you cut, you leave a little bit of tail and you make three more. Again, you should have four of this. That's super good. Now we move on for the third and final tentacles. Here it's a little bit different and you will make just one of this one. So you will start again with the slip knot and you make 36 chains. Super good. Now again you skip the first chain and you start crocheting on the second chain from the hook. You'll make 10 increases, 10 half double crochet and 15 double crochet. Let's go slow here. So you'll make one increase of single crochet in each of the chains here at the beginning. So the 10, the 10 chains <laughs> first chains you will make two single crochet inside of each like the first tentacle right we want some curl at the beginning here and then you see we want this beginning with the curl and now for the next 10 uh, chains you will work with half double crochet so you'll make just one half double crochet inside of each chain until you have 10 half double crochets. All right. Once you finish all the 10 uh, half double crochets, you, you will start crocheting double crochets. So until the end, you will make one double crochet inside of each of the remaining chains. Okay, so this is what we want here. All 
All right, this is great. This is how you should be looking like. Again, you cut this, leave a small tail for attaching in the bottom. So now what we're going to do is we we'll take this piece that you worked before, this finished piece, and you will start just attaching with some simple knot here. So you bring the yarn of the beginning of your tentacles to the back of the bottom like this. So this one I'm putting in the central part. And you just make a simple knot here to make sure that this will not go anywhere. So make it tight and that's it. You see, very easy. I like this pattern because there is no sewing at all, especially if you're using, um, how you call, the safety eyes. I like to crochet my, the eyes of my toys, so I need to sew it on it. But if you're not crocheting the eyes, you don't have any sewing for this pattern. Now I will start attaching this evenly at the bottom of the jellyfish. Great. Super good. I will move fast forward here because it's really simple. This is how you're going to attach all of them. Now I'm finishing. This is the last one, you see, all the way here. And these remaining tails I will not cut because this will be inside of the jellyfish. Look at this. Very beautiful. Super nice. So here I'll just leave it organized like this for now. This will be already the some of the stuffing of the jellyfish. All right. So now let's start the jellyfish. So here again, we work with the magic ring for starting our toy. And you will make six single crochet inside the magic ring. Super good. So now let's pull this tight, close the magic ring, move on for the second round. And here you'll make six increases and you have a total of 12 stitches at the end. So here at the beginning, you'll follow just like the beginning of the bottom that you did. So I will move a little bit faster here because you already know how to make this, right? All right, this is super good. I will just secure now the beginning of the tail and move on for the third round. Add my stitch marker. Okay, so for the third round, you will work one, one single crochet, one increase, repeat six times, and you should have 18 stitches at the end of this round. You can pause the video here, continue your round, and catch me up at the end, okay? Great, so let's move on for the fourth round, and here you'll work two single crochet, one increase, repeat six times, and you will have a total of 24 stitches at the end of this round. Okay, so once again, complete your round, one, two, one increase, all the way around and I will catch you up here, great, fifth round, three single crochet, one increase, repeat six times and you should have a total of 30 stitches here at the end.
and my grease. Super great. Very easy, right? Repeat all the way around. And you should have this. Good. So now for the round number six, you will crochet four single crochet, one increase, repeat six times, and you should have a total of 36 stitches at the end of this round. All right, very nice. And now here for round number seven, you will work five single crochet, one increase. Again, you repeat six times and you should have a total of 42 stitches at the end of this round. So it's very nice, very simple pattern, right? Okay, I will catch you up at the end of this round. Super good. And now this is our last round with the increases. So for round number eight, you will crochet six single crochet, one increase. Repeat all the way around and you should have 48 single crochets at the end of this round. All right, so this is how you should be looking like right now. And what you're gonna do now is you'll crochet from round nine to 16, 48 single crochets. So here's very nice, very simple. You just count your 48 single crochets and you make uh, eight rounds. Yes, eight rounds without increases and decreases. And this is how it should be looking like. Great, look at this, very nice. Now we'll start the decreases. We won't be decreasing too much, so you don't worry here, it was going to be fast, we're almost done. Now for round number 17, you will crochet six single crochet and one decrease. Here I use the invisible decrease for crochet toys. If you don't know how to make the invisible decrease, there is a link in the description below. But basically you just grab the front loop of the two next stitches, like this, and use single crochet. That's it. This is the invisible decrease. All right. Repeat all the way around and this is what you should have. Now for round number 18, you will work just 42 single crochets, okay? I will catch you up at the end of this round. Just 42 single crochets, very easy. Good, so this is what we have now. And we will go now for our last round for now, which you will make five single crochet, one decrease, and you will repeat six times. You should have a total of 36 stitches here. Okay, so here I go to the first repetition. Three, four, and five, and my decrease. All right, super great. Repeat all the way around and I will catch you up at the end. Now here I am in my last decrease of the round, number 19, that we were just working now. And before finishing, I will make a color change here. Okay. That's it. We make a color change. If you don't know how to make the color change, check the description box below. There is a link with the four ways of making color changes in crochet toys. The four most used ways. And you can choose the one that is the best for you. Here I'll just simply secure my yarn so it's easy for me to work. All right, this is good enough. 
And now what we are going to do here is we will crochet together with the bottom that you just prepared at the beginning of this video. All right? So you will crochet together. So position your bottom any place. It doesn't matter, you don't need to match the beginning with beginning. And here for the round number 20, you will crochet 36 single crochet together with the bottom. All right? So position very nicely like this. And you simply make single crochets. Okay? So here I will show you one more, a couple of more times. Let me just make this better. Yes. Okay, now <laughs> we can see it better. And we crochet together. You see? Just like this. It's so cool. I like this technique so much because then you don't need to sew it and it looks so neat. It's very good. The next couple of sea creatures, it will be with this same technique, so most of them you don't have to sew it at all. All right, so here you see I did a couple more. And before finishing, here it's when we will start adding the stuffing material, okay? So let me just organize this here. And let's add a couple of stuffing material. Great. This looks fine for me. You add as much as you want. And we will continue this round closing this toy. Okay, here you go slowly if you're not used to crochet together like this, but it's so good. I like it so much. I hope you really enjoy this. I don't know about you, but I don't like much of sewing it, but I do it anyways. Okay, so once you're done, this is how it should be looking like. You see, we already have a jellyfish form here. And now we will make some nice shape here. So for our, for our last round, you will skip the first one and you will crochet four double crochet inside the stitch. Skip one and join with the slip stitch. You will repeat all the way around and you should have a nice shape here. So let's do one repetition here together. So I'm making now my third double crochet and my fourth. Great. Now you will skip the next stitch and you join with a slip stitch on the next, next stitch. All right. And then again, you skip one stitch and you crochet four double crochet on the next, next stitch. <laughs> All right, so this you will repeat all the way around until the end, and I will catch you up then. So we can finish this jellyfish and make the eyes. Okay, my third here, double crochet. Fourth. Oops. Yes, okay. And skip one, skip this one, and join with a slip stitch here. Great. Once you're done, this is how it should be looking like. Look at this, super cute. Now let's just fasten this off real quick before we move on to the eyes and finish this jellyfish. I will show you quick here how I make. It's simple. You can fasten your toys the way that you're used to it. Good, look at this. Oh, very nice. Super cute. Great. Now, for the eyes, what we're going to do is you will start with a magic ring. 
It's very simple, as in I love this style. Yes, and you will make eight single crochet inside the magic ring. All right? Okay, let's just move fast a little bit here. And once you're done and you closed, you're gonna join with a slip stitch. But when you're doing this, you will change colors here. In my case, I will work with the pink. Okay, so I joined with the slip stitch, changing the color, and now you will make slip stitch on the back loop of the stitch, okay? So here, eight back loop slip stitch. Just make sure that your slip stitch is not too tight, so make a nice slip stitch here with stretching a little bit so it's not pulling hard and you will join with a slip stitch on the first slip stitch of the round okay here I will just make a simple knot because it's going to be facing down and you cut leaving a tail for sewing I will pull this here and behind here. And this is the eye, all right? Now you make another one, of course, so following the same pattern. And let's sew this. So here, I'm counting one, two, three, four. There is the exact location where I sewed these eyes in the written pattern in the description below. Okay, so here I just wanted to show you how I'm sewing this, so it's going to be looking nice, all right? So I bring my yarn up inside the slip stitch and down inside the slip stitch next to it. And I take one stitch from the body. Okay, all right, so let's do this again. We bring the yarn up inside the slip stitch and down inside the slip stitch next to the one you bring it up. Just make sure here to take just the slip stitch. It's very important not to take the other color like in the middle of the stitch or something like this. And one stitch from the body. And that's it. You will repeat this all the way around, okay? So you will repeat this eight times. It's important for you to take all the stitches. All right? So I will finish this one and I will catch you up. Good. So once the two eyes are sew it. You see here you secure the beginning of the yarn, you take a white color yarn and let's give some life to these eyes because now it just look a blank hole. <laughs> okay, so here I will make two lines in the top right corner of the eye. So one stripe, another one here, and then I will bring this yarn to the down left corner. And I will make a contour and a little bit contour around this corner like this. You see how we gave some life to these eyes? 
and I will do the same thing on the other side. Okay, and I will catch you up to say to you goodbye because we will be done. Good, organize a little bit, make it look nice. Yes, this is looking very great. Okay, I will do the other one and I will show you the final result. And I will, yes, pull this inside. Okay, so here we have our jellyfish. Look at this, this is super cute, so pretty. I make another one, changing a little bit of the colors. Look at this, so nice. I hope you like this pattern and I see you on the next one. Bye.